Hello and welcome to Hattrick's GT7 Weekly Race Guide. I hope you're well and having a fantastic start to the week. Well, we've got an interesting set of combinations this week. For Race A, we're at Watkins Glen Short Course, of course. For Race B, we're at Grand Valley, South Reverse in the Group 4s. And in Race C, we're at Mount Panorama Motor Racing Circuit in the Group 3s. And BOP has been applied for all of them. But let's have a look at Race A first of all in the specified car, which, as we'll see, is the Maserati Marac SS from 1980. Now, this car, to give you a quick warning, it is very much... it's it's. It likes to swap ends. So keeping the car um, with a kind of neutral energy as much as possible, not doing big braking round corners and things like that is going to be crucial. Let's have a look at the details. It's uh, a five-lap race with 12 cars in. It's a good start with false start check. Um, there's uh, one on fuel and one on tyres. It's mid-speed, so the car settings are specified, but you can use your own event, your, your own car from your garage. Let's have a look at some quick times and give you a guide to do a good lap. So here we go inside the Maserati Marine. Look at that, it's a wonderful interior. Look at all those dials and that leather covered dashboard. That's what it looks like from here. So we're coming on the start and finish straight, looking for our first breaking point, which is just as he hits the 200 board. He's keeping it in the fourth and then going down in the third, keeping it nice and steady. This car loves to swap ends um, under heavy braking, so be careful. As you come into the right-hander team, plenty of curve doing 105 miles an hour and accelerating up. And you pull the left-hand curve, coming a bit slower in this car, which is actually quite nice. Into that right-hand curve, and then straight into the car. And now we are coming to our next big braking point as we come into the chicane. Where is he going to break? Just between the 300 and 400, again, keeping it in fourth. This gentle braking, taking all the currents. Accelerating out and then just feathering the throttle a little bit, just letting the car roll. And once he sees that point, he can then accelerate. He can go a quick bit over that left curve on his left tyres. And now he's accelerating up to 108 miles an hour. We're losing pitch this time. You see here on the left. Now, where is the brake marker here? To the 103.2. And he's braking just before the 200 board. The car wants to skid. And he accelerates out. He's kept it in fourth. And then into the final right hand that is backing off nicely, getting that curve and then accelerating through. You can use a lot of the curve on the left, make sure you don't hit the ball. He's right on that left hand line and he comes through a 125.393, which is a very good time indeed. So that's race A. It should be fun. I think there'll be plenty of carnage. I think there's going to be lots of dive bombs coming into the big corners. But let me know what you think and let's get on to race B. Here we are at race B. It is Grand Valley South Reverse and we're in the group four on the racing hard tyre with one times fuel and one times tyres. We're on six laps. It's a rolling start. The BOP is on BOP, uh, which means we've got brake balance that you are allowed to use. And of course, DR and SR are affected. Let's have a look at a good lap. So here we are in the McLaren with Tiffany again. We'll start finish straight and coming into the Turning in at the 100 board side, backing up slightly, and then keeping it nice and easy as he brakes, keeping it in third gear, accelerating nice and early, and, and braking quite early there as well, so you can take a nice right hand cut, same with the left hand cut, accelerating it under the next bridge, and it's a crucial braking point here, and he's braking just after the 200 board, down into second gear, so you get a tight right hander. Accelerate out nicely, up into third gear, to up into understeer, well into fourth, again nice and early, straight lining as much as you can, bringing the car in there, both as much speed as over 100 miles an hour, and then up into the long right, for an easy section here, and then braking just before the 100 board, down into third and second, then back up into third, to accelerate out nice and cleanly, holding as much speed as possible, right up to the line there, almost on the and to complete the lap, we are going to look at a 108.906, so it's a very short one here. It's going to be an interesting race because I think it's going to be very intense and we're going to have to try and pass as quickly as possible, so be wary of that. But I think it should be a fun race. 
So here we are on race C. It's Mount Panorama or Bathurst. A fantastic circuit. I do think it's a lot of fun. And we've got 10 laps here and we're doing a rolling start and we're two times fuel and seven times tyres. Now the key thing is you don't have to do a pit stop but actually you do because you have to change tyres. It says here that the minimum number of pit stops is none. However, you do need to change tyres. So your DR and SR are going to be effective, affected and you must either use the racing medium or the racing soft. So there's going to be a little bit of strategy there as to do you start on the mediums and then go into the soft or will you do it the other way round. But let's have a look at a good lap to help you get a great qualifying time. Here we are in the group three with the Wigmus Warren, who's come the fastest up there on the Fens list. And coming on the start finish straight, we will break. Just after the 100 board, between the 50 and the 100 in the third gear, of course, we're in the Genesis. It will be a very popular car here. We'll the spoiler on the back and up the hill. And what will be the first sector time as we come under the supercharged back in the bridge? Just before the 50 boards of the bed, he took the brakes in the second gear, then up in the third, and it was a nice line going up the hill, over to the right, and just within, just starts to back off before the left hander as he's going to go around it, then the second goes, the second left, and the third, turning in the tree, over to the right hand side, and then he's going to have to back off there, so he's going to go pretty well, and then the fifth gear, with a tiny touch of the wall there, but it's a nice round the left hander and then backing off as he hits the right hand leg down into second gear. There's a bit of grass there on the leg as well. The crucial thing here is you've got to go into the car roll as you're coming down the hill. Right nice and he has the second gear down into first, holding a lovely left hand and there and accelerating it onto the back straight. Come down the hill, uh, what will the third sector time be? It's a 130.682. You can do brake balance on this car, it's the only setting that is allowed. It's braking before the 100 board, into second gear, letting the car glide about up into third and accelerating out nicely. It takes a good bit of curve. Really, these drivers, they all use as much of the road as possible, braking between the 50 and the 100 board there. Nicely neat bits. Beautifully done with hardly any bumping at all out here. That can be quite a dodgy corner there. And it gets a 1 minute 59, which is very, very quick indeed. So there you have it. They say B and C is an interesting mix. Again, group 3, group 4. Obviously, I think race A looks a lot of fun. Uh, but I think race C could be pretty good as well. Or if you fancy a bit of race B with a short, intense race, then that could be the one for you. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much to all our new and existing subscribers. And we'll be back, of course, tonight with our big interview with Sparks Theory. So make sure you tune in. But take care, everyone. Drive fast and drive your bus even faster. Find us now.